Hello everyone and welcome back to Zakil Educational Channel. So I hope your preparations will be going on well for the Environmental Science UGC NET examination. And in this video, I will tell you topics which you must know before going for the exam. Yes, these things are must for revision because these are very very frequently asked topics and you should know before going for the exam. So we will not delay in this video, just I will tell you all these topics. You should note down whether you have completed the revision for these topics or not. So without much delay, let's start today's video. Before starting today's video, I would like to remind you that there are several videos in which we have done the rapid revision, mega revision, in which we have discussed several frequent asked questions, very very important for the UGC NET environmental science paper. So these things you should go through before going for the exam because these are very very important and will definitely help you in the examination. So the link I will provide in the i button, the playlist you should go through that and then you will be very very confident. So these are the topics which you should note down one by one in your note and then check whether you have done the revision or not starting with the important environmental days and their themes. So this is the themes you should know for the last year which is very very important and I have already made a video you can check the link in the description. So all these important top 15 topics whichever is available in our YouTube videos I have provided the link in the description you can check through that. Next coming is second thing that is environmental acts environmental convention, environmental moments, epico moments, chipco moments, environmental acts and their year when they were enacted. So these things are important. Second number is environmental acts, convention, moments, protocol, Montreal protocol, Kyoto protocol, all these things along with the year when they were coming to the existence and simple things related to that. Third thing is environment related ISO number. Yes, International Organization of Standardization number related to environment. This is also important which we have already discussed in the telegram group. Video was given and the quiz was conducted. So ISO number environmental related is very important. You can also check the easy trick to remember the ISO number. The description will be having that link. Next is global warming potential atmospheric lifetime of the greenhouse gases so it can be asked in the increasing order decreasing order you have to arrange so in some twisted form these things will be must there that is global warming potential atmospheric lifetime of the greenhouse gases next is bowen's reaction series yes it is very important bowen's reaction series to know that series very simple thing also this is one of the very frequently asked topics in the ugc net environmental science exam Next is the CFC conversion. So from number to the CFC formula, from CFC formula to the number, CFC number. So this thing is very, very important. The technique to know very, very simple. We have already made a video. Next is number seven, that is National Ambient Air Quality Standards and Bureau of Indian Standards for Drinking Water. These two things you should know for the important elements. So these are very, very important. National Ambient Air Quality Standards and BIS Drinking Water Standards. Now coming to the other eight, so seven we have discussed. Now number is disease caused by the elements or pollutants. It can be in the air, water, soil. So for example, lead, cadmium, and then what is this? Mercury, arsenic, silicosis. So these are the elements and the questions are coming from which disease is Minamata disease? What is caused by the pollution of mercury, itai itai. So these things are very frequently asked question. You should know these things. Then is biogeochemical cycle. Yes, nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, sulfur cycle, which is gaseous cycle, which is sedimentary cycle. And most important one is the nitrogen cycle, which we have made the separate video. Nitrogen cycle is very, very important. Tenth one is coal types and their characteristics. It can be anthracite, lignite, peat, these kind of coals are there and their characteristics which is having highest amount of moisture, which is good quality coal, which is having highest sulfur amount. So these things are very frequently asked, coal types and their characteristics, very very important. Number 11 is the mass balance numerical. This is also a very frequently asked numerical coming in the UGC NET environmental science paper. Mass balance numerical if you don't know, in the description the video link is given, you can check from there. 
Next is the biomedical waste bin color code. Yes, where the anatomical waste are segregated and they are kept in the biomedical waste in yellow color. So these are the examples which I am giving where the sharp waste are disposed of white color bin, blue color bin, black color bin, red bin. So this is very very important. You should know which bin is used for which kind of biomedical waste disposal. Next 13 number is smog types. Yes, fog plus smoke is smog that is smoke plus fog. London smog, Los Angeles smog which is reducing in nature which is not and when it was seen first time which is earlier which came later these things are important. 14th number is mineral hardness which mineral is more harder than what diamond is the most hardest mineral more scale. So this more scale will tell which mineral is having more hardness than the other mineral comparatively. So more scale you should know that thing and finally 15th number that is top 15 topics is sustainable development goals millennium development goals so you should not get confused between these two things they are very frequently asked concepts so the next important topic is the primary and secondary air pollutants their characteristics and examples of primary and secondary air pollutants number 16 is gibbs free energy change when it is spontaneous reaction what will be the change when it is in equilibrium what will be the change and even the numerical can come that means the formula you have to use delta g is equal to delta h minus t del s so it can come in that form also number 18 is bioremediation bio augmentation phytoremediation bio transformation so these things are having a very small difference but these questions are also one of the very frequently asked questions number 19 is el nino la nina phenomena their characteristics conditions what happens in pacific ocean what are the changes this is also an important concept next the final one which we are discussing for this video among the top 20 most frequently asked question is analytical techniques yes Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, GCMS, Chromatography, XRD, XRF. What are the principles and differences? These are also very, very important. So these were the 20 frequently asked concepts in the UGC NET Environmental Science paper, which are a must to look upon before going for the exam. One more thing I would like to inform you, actually remind you that this time it's OMR sheet type of examination. It's not an online mode of examination. So your strategy should be little bit different than the online mode. Yes, if you want to know the different strategy do's and don'ts for the OMR type of examination, then you can comment in the comment section and based on the demand, we will try to make a short video tomorrow before the examination so that it will be helpful when you will go and appear for the examination because all the revisions are over final touch you have to give and on the day of examination what are the things you should follow that also matters a lot yes this video was made just to make you aware that these topics are important and whether you have done the revision or not so all the very best for the examination don't panic whatever you have prepared that will only come in the examination See you guys in our next video. Till then, keep smiling and believe in yourself.